Will the province balance the budget with the quarterly fiscal update expected in the next few weeks? It's a question Albertans are asking and one without an easy answer. Here's our provincial affairs reporter Vashi Kapelos. At the PC convention this weekend, the strongest sign yet the province may borrow to build infrastructure. We've also said that we would have a long-term transparent infrastructure plan. Uh, Minister Horner has made it very clear that we need to fully finance that plan. The first example of that came last month when the province fast-tracked the twinning of Highway 63 by going to the capital markets. Most people don't buy their house for cash. They make sure that it's amortized over a period of time that is the value of the house. That's what we're going to look at. And so the finance minister says the government is looking at all options to finance schools, hospitals and roads, but that doesn't sit well with everyone. If you put the question, do you think we should go to capital markets to build schools for children? Most people are going to say yes, build schools for children. If you say, do you think we should go into debt um, to get a year ahead on capital plan? The answer might be pretty radically different. But is it that simple? Alberta is the only debt-free province in Canada. In the last decade, revenue has doubled from 20 to more than $40 billion. And there was no mention of borrowing during the election campaign. Still, some studies say Alberta has an infrastructure deficit. The population is growing faster here than anywhere else in Canada. And schools, hospitals and the like are needed to service that growth. I think the principle is very clear to make sure that we're investing in, uh, in projects that matter to Albertans. On the other hand, servicing the debt costs money. How will that fit into the budget? And how will the government fulfill its promise to balance that budget? All questions without clear answers right now, but that could change soon. The next fiscal update is due by the end of the month. Vashi Capellos, Global News. Why do I support the Canadian Taxpayers Federation? Because families deserve a break. Because someone has to keep our politicians honest. Because honesty and hard work should be rewarded, not punished. Alone? My voice may not be heard. But together, our voices can't be ignored.